Hi everybody! I thought I'd come on and read you uh, a little bit of a story. Um, so the story that I'm going to read you is called Shampoozle um, and it's um, it, the author is Lawrence Anholt uh, and the illustrator is Arthur Robbins and my class absolutely loved these stories and it's kind of a bit like a series, um, it's like a book in a series. Um, so shall I, I'll read you a bit of the blurb about what it's about. So it says, a brain-tickingly brilliant, serious, silly, silly story, Shampoozle's brush with the bad hair witch grows into a hair-raising adventure. Will it all come out in the wash? So you can go and get your comfies on your pyjamas and have a little listen to this story. There was once a jolly hairdresser named Dandruff. Dan loved hair. Curly hair, bristly hair, eyebrows and beards. Dan loved them all. He loved the gleam of his many mirrors and the snippety snick of sparkling silver scissors. Dan even sang about hair. Hair, hair, glorious hair, it spreads from your head nearly everywhere. It grows on your toes, even inside your nose. Hair, hair, hair. Only one thing upset Dan's happiness, his girlfriend, uh, Tamati, who lived in the flat upstairs. Unlike Dan, Tam was a sad person who hid away in her bedroom behind tightly drawn curtains. From under their hairdryers, Dan's customers could hear her wretched moans and Dan nearly tore his hair out with worry over her condition. The awful truth was... Tam had terrible hair. Oh, Dan, she wailed. My head is dull and lifeless. I have a flaky scalp and unsightly split ends, but no ordinary shampoo is effective. Dan could find nothing to help, and as the days passed, Tam's hair grew as greasy as a chip shop mop. Ooh. Now, not far from the barber shop was an evil black tower which twisted into the sky like a strange hairstyle. This was the home of the bad hair witch. High in her dark rooms, the bad hair witch mixed strange shampoos and hair oils which were sold all over the world. The secret ingredient came from rare plants which grew only in her private garden. Above the barber shop, Tam became convinced that one of these magical hair herbs would bring back um, the life to her dull scalp and she pleaded with Dan to pick some. At the mention of the black tower, Dan Druff felt the hairs prickle at the back of his neck. I dare not go there, he whispered. But if I should fall into the evil hair grip of the bad hair witch. But Tam complained so long and hard that at last Dan Druff could stand it no longer. All right, all right, keep your hair on. I will go to the tower and comb the garden for your herbs. So the next morning before dawn, the brave barber crept reluctantly up the hairpin bends that led to the tower. As he walked, he sang to keep up his courage. Hair, hair, marvellous hair, the poor can have more than a millionaire. You may think it sounds silly, but it grows on my... Well, well, what on earth is that? Before he could finish the song, Dan had almost walked into a huge sign hanging on the wall before him. Dan Druff, use your head. If you climb this wall, you'll wish you were dead. Dan felt a shiver run along his moustache. Only the thought of Tam's sad locks drove him on. Ignoring the sign, he scrambled into the bad hair witch's secret garden, where he found a second sign. Dandruff! Can't you read? Don't even think about nicking a weed! Poor Dan had never been in such a hairy situation, 
but he bent down and began to stuff his pockets with the herbs. Suddenly, he heard a terrible voice. Dandruff, you must be crazy. You'll pay for those plants with your very first baby. Dan's hair stood on end. It was the worst rhyme he'd ever heard. Before him stood the bad hair witch. But, but, but I don't have a baby, stammered Dan. Well, let's not spit hair, snapped the witch. I will wait until your first child is born. Grabbing a handful of herbs, Dan leapt over the wall and haired down the hill to the town. OK, we're going to stop there for this time um, and we'll carry on. Tune in next time for the rest of the story and I wonder what's going to happen next.